Hi, I'm Anthony, the host of Raw Deal. I'm Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. For telling us your story, you're going to get this awesome t-shirt. Hopefully you'll like that. Thank you very much. So what, tell me your story. What happened? Uh, a neighbor moved in uh, right next door to us, and she had a Toyota Corolla. She was coming back from Tallahassee, ran the car in a ditch. A big ditch? Like, where there was body damage? or um, There was a lot of body damage, the, both front fenders, the hood. Um, she actually hit the ditch hard enough to break the transmission mount. Was she sober? No. no. Uh, she was on some kind of pain medication. Okay. Um, I drove to Tallahassee to get her, towed the car back. No expense to her. And now this is your neighbor, so you're doing this is my this neighbor. Is yeah, I mean, this is just a good deed thing. We get the car back. She needed the car in order to go back to Tallahassee the next day. So you had to make the repairs in a day? I stayed up all night to get the car roadworthy. The next day she left, she got into like Daytona, blew a tire. In your story, you had mentioned that she needed her tires replaced before, so you had let her know her tires. Well, actually, it was, it was an alignment issue when she hit the ditch and knocked it out of alignment. And you hadn't, you hadn't gone around to fixing it right away. Exactly. You only had, what, yeah. less than 24 hours. Exactly. Okay. So she understood this. She left the next day. She blew a tire almost in Daytona. Um, I went back up and got her. So now you're making two trips. A second Bought trip. her a tire. Paid to have it mounted, balanced, everything. So in your opinion, at this point, how much money have you personally put into? Probably around $350 with gas going back and forth, buying the tire, and, and plus the labor. And compensated you? Anyway. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I talked her into just coming back home. She's pretty lucky to have you as a neighbor. Yeah, I mean, this is, when this tire blew, it was pretty local. Okay. Um, I dropped what I was doing. So this is the third time This now. is the third time. I dropped what I was doing, went down there, took the tire off, took it to a tire shop, they put another tire on it brought it back. I gave her 70 bucks to go get an alignment. She never got the alignment. What happened with the money? Good question. Wow. Uh, about a week after that, um, she pulled into our road and went to back up into her driveway and the transmission was gone. The reason the transmission was gone is because the transmission mount had broke and, and, it, threw it, yeah, yeah. and it threw everything off. Um, she came over and asked me if I knew where to get a transmission, this, that, and the other. I found her one for $250. And so now you're still not upset or you're just, you're still helping her out. I'm just, yeah, that's, so I go and take $250 of my money, right. bought her this transmission. Now I come back, it took me three days to get the transmission in. The last day she's making snide comments. When is my car going to get done? So now she's getting testy with you. Exactly. You're doing all this stuff for free. Well, I had been teasing her boyfriend about this little truck that he had. He has no license. The truck hasn't moved in about eight months at this time. I wanted the truck. I want something small, dependable. It's an 85. Well, and it's fair compensation for the amount of work that you put. Actually, no, because there's not even a blue book value on this truck. It's, <laughs> this, it, it's a 25 year old truck. There's no blue book value on it. If you was to look up a blue book value, it's gonna say zero. So, it was worth nothing. It was worth nothing, but I wanted it just to work out of. Okay. So they finally agreed to give me this truck if I would give them a hundred more dollars cash because they needed the cash. So at this point now you've put in how much money to um, fix their car? All total, it was probably $725. And then they wanted another hundred on top of that. Exactly. <laughs> That's a little greedy. I gave him a hundred dollars. Okay. We did a bill of sale for the truck. So there was proof of, you know. Oh yes. Was there a title to the car? The title was over at his ex-wife's house, packed away. They promised me within a reasonable amount of time I would get the title. Now this happened January 18th of this year. Okay. I still haven't gotten a title. They still haven't sent you the title. Nothing. So you just have the truck sitting in your driveway, or can you drive it? I moved it. I moved it to my mom's house. She has more room to store it. Um, and after I filled out the online application for this, I, when I moved it, um, she ran out there and took all the information down off of the vehicle I was towing it with and said that she was going to call Orange County Sheriff that I was stealing the truck. And this was the agreement that you guys initially had made and now she was trying to back out of it. Exactly. After you helped with her car yes. and gave her an additional $100. Exactly. Wow. So, I mean, 
she's, she's called three or four times, I'm gonna call Orange County Sheriff if you don't bring the truck back. Because to add on to this, about a month and a half, two months ago, she totaled the car. The car that you had fixed originally? Yeah, it's that done, Corolla? it's done. Um, the whole front end was knocked off and she had rolled it. So I see what happened. She totals her car and now the truck that she gave you, she's trying to take it back. Exactly, Wow. exactly. And she's threatened to call the sheriff's department that I stole the truck. Does she have a legitimate case? From everyone I've talked to, I've called a couple of, I've even called Morgan and Morgan. He said, as long as I have a bill of sale signed by the owner of the truck, there's nothing she can do. And now she's not even the owner, it's actually the boyfriend. It's actually the correct? boyfriend, yes. So you put in $825, some of it to go towards her car and a little bit towards this truck. You have a formal bill of sale yes. and they will not give you the title. They will not do it. And it's $395 to file a civil suit against them. So a judge will say, you owe him this title, give him this title. But is the truck worth that? Right. I mean, by the time I get done, I'm going to have $1,000 wrapped up into this truck. That's a raw deal if I've ever heard one. Of course it is. Well, thank you. Appreciate thank you. you telling your story. Not a problem. And now it's your turn. Go to MyRawDeal.com now and vote for which story you think got the rawest deal. Maybe it'll be story number one, perhaps story number two, or maybe it'll be story number three. The choice is yours. Go to the computer, type in MyRawDeal.com, and vote now. I'm your host, Anthony Castaneda. Thanks for watching.